today I'm going to do uh, makeup with just most almost all e.l.f. products. I didn't have any e.l.f. Um, foundations, so I'm using some different Maybelline foundations I had. This is e.l.f. eyeshadow. It's several different colors. And this is a, I believe, a wet and wild, yeah, it's a wet and wild highlighter and contour. But then the rest of it is e.l.f. And we're going to do a whole face makeup on a 70 year old woman with all of this drugstore elf mostly elf then i'll do one a little bit later with the uh, other drugstore makeup i have a handful of those as well okay hi friends pam shepherd with pamela shep productions here and today i'm going to use all of the almost all of the elf makeup i do have a few other things that i didn't have like i said i didn't have the um I didn't have the foundation, e.l.f. foundation, and I have Wet n' Wild um, blush and Wet n' Wild um, concealer and highlighter. And as you can see, um, I, I really did like these. I've used them a lot. So, okay. So here we go. Um, this is the hydrating primer. It's a spray. Um, I also have, well, let's, let's get a headband on here and get this out of the way. Whew, okay. All right. Off with the glasses. Drink of water. Okay, so we're going to do the hydrating spray. Woo! Wow, that sprays out powerful. Big, big spray. I think I have to turn my fan on for a minute with that. Woo-wee! Made my face wet. Okay, and I'm going to show you about this gray as it, your, your hair starts growing out and shows your gray. I'm going to show you a trick what, what I do and what you can do. Um, all right, so whew, that's still wet. Wow, that really sprays. Okay, this one is, it's a hydrating uh, primer, but it's like the greasy kind. There's a pink one that's pretty wonderful, but I don't have any more of that for the e.l.f. if you're going to use e.l.f. Now this is almost all e.l.f. products. So I'm going to put a couple of squirts on my fingers, but they're really, it's really greasy. But I like that, you know, because I have the dry skin. And so I like greasy. Greasy works for me. If you have, if you have oily skin, um, they have the, um, it's in a pink, it's in a pink bottle, just like this, and it's not, it's not greasy. And it's pretty, pretty good. It feels really nice on your face, too. Whew, it feels good. Let's rub in those wrinkles there. See if I can help those. Okay, I bought all Dollar Street Tree makeup, too. So I'm going to, maybe tomorrow I'll do Dollar Tree makeup. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice okay so then for my uh, I also have the elf you know setting spray when I get done so all right so what I did was I bought both of these and I've used these both before one of them I'm sorry I can't see without these okay one of them is number 50 creamy natural and one of them is number 20 classic ivory see one's a little darker well, let's see than the other so i think i'm going to start with this classic ivory yeah that's what i think i'm going to do so i'm going to i'm going to put some on the back of my hand like that and i'm going to get um i'm going to go ahead and use a makeup brush and we're going to see how this goes okay it's uh little bit of a uh, I wonder, little bit of a yellow cast we'll see we'll keep going because you can you can make your makeup look different and also remember you can mix stuff I mix stuff all the time remember I mix everything I mix cereal I mix different berries and if I'm gonna have yogurt I put stuff in it that's my personality this that the other it's hard to order one thing when you have a personality like mine you want this that and the other and you really want everybody at the table to share with you but that you know 
that's not going to happen most of the time. Depends who it is. Yeah, we, we don't know what we think about this tower. Oh, gosh. My mother-in-law just got here. She's going to spend the weekend, so she's outside talking to hubby, and dog thinks she has to bark. Unless that big black cat's out there again. She barks at that big black cat. Okay, so well, let's see what we think about this. Hmm. Okay, so this is the Maybelline, and it's called um, Dream Radiance Liquid. And it's hydrating, because I have dry skin. So that's why I wore this one. I have other different kinds. Let's put a little bit of the darker one on my hand. Ooh. And let's put it um, over here where I would normally put my contour anyhow. Oh, that's not a bad color, is it? Oh, I kind of like it. Yeah, let's just add it everywhere. Oh, that's not bad. We'll just put it right on top of the other one, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is pretty full coverage makeup. I like full coverage makeup. I always have. Okay. All right. That feels good. Okay, now. I don't have... Uh, elf contour, but I have, <laughs> I cut up these, I buy these at the Dollar Tree, these, these, uh, micro fiber, they're really for cars, I think, and I cut them up in little squares and use them so I don't ruin, uh, my washcloths and such. I'm gonna put it here and here, do it up there and that, come down my nose, down all the way, um, Now, when I do the Dollar Tree makeup, I bought sponges at the Dollar Tree, too, for the Dollar Tree makeup. Mm -hmm. And this one, I could really spray it with that primer that's really wet. I know some people put theirs in water, but I don't know. I do know you should spray it with something, because otherwise it absorbs all your makeup and everything. And Okay. We're going to push it into those pores. You don't want the old lady pores showing, right? Okay, so, all right. So that was the side. And this one is medium light. This is wet and wild. And it's uh, wet and wild. And this one is medium, or I guess it goes light medium. Then when you open this side, this is the color of the contour. Do you want to put on your face? Oh, it's not very dark, is it? That's okay. No, it's good. It's good. We want to put it up here and up here. Remember? Remember I've got the round face going on? So, okay, here's my regular contour brush. We're going to use that. Mm -hmm. We're going to rub this one in, and then we'll put a little bit more on because it's not very dark. But remember, I told you you could use eyeshadow because I'm not going to go back to my other stuff. I'm just going to use this, and we're going to make it work. You know, honestly, that probably make pretty lipstick. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okie dokie, little more, little more. <laughs> nice and creamy. It actually, it actually feels good. I'm gonna put it on each side of my nose. Okay. Okie dokie. We're going to put it up there and up there. Remember, we're going for that oval face. I'm going to put it down here and go down under. Make a shadow. You can hide kind of like those double chins. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Now, then you can always take the, um, the other side that's the highlighter again. And you can do it right here. So it makes more of a definition with the lighter color between the darker color. Mm -hmm. See that? I'm going to put some of this on my eyelids too for a minute. To, almost like a little eye, eye uh, shadow primer. Of course, I've got pretty bright lights going on here too. All right, so then I'm going to take 
And this was the e.l.f. eyeshadow that I had. And when you open it up, of course, I broke the mirror, of course. But um, it has a lot of different way cool colors. I mean, there's not a ton of them, but not bad, right? Not bad for a lot of different colors. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take, uh, like this light one. Oh, uh oh, those do have a lot of fallout. You see that? Well, knock it off so it won't get all over your face. The, the One of the differences in less expensive makeup is um, the pigmentation and the fallout. It's okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right, now, okay, we're going to go with, well, evidently I liked this color right here, see? I already have Pam showing in that, so I guess we could go with that one, since that's what I tend to like. And we're going to go there. See? I'm sitting down. Somebody told me the other day, said, don't stand up and put your makeup on. Put it, uh, sit down. I am sitting. I'm on, a, I'm on a real fluffy stool. And I'm at my makeup table. And this, this, can, this um, mirror that I'm using here, it, um, it can be pushed against the wall and pull it out, and I can flip it to the side that has 10, you know, where it's big. Oh, don't tell me the light's not going to work now again. Well, that's crazy. There we go. And uh, then I have another big light that I put here, so I don't know. That may be too much and flood us all out of here. Okay. Let me change this light a little bit. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, yes, no. Well, we'll know after this, right? And then I'll know not to do that anymore. Okay. I'm just going to try to really blend that in. It's a pretty color, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's use the eyebrow pencil that's e.l.f. And this one is called, I don't know if it's called... Lightful. Whoops. If it's called, um, I have my tank top on today. So it looks kind of like I'm not wearing anything. But I am. Okay. This one's called Instant Lift Eyebrow Pencil. And, hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, Lord. Taupe. It's called taupe. Oh, taupe is a fairly good color for my skin color, so that's okay. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to flip this mirror where it's big, like 10 times its, its size. And it comes with a spoolie on the end of it. I was looking at this makeup. It's a little bit, um, yeah, it's dumping stuff up under my eye. Uh, it, it's, it's nice, but it almost needs like a powder or something, I think. Okay. Maybe this is making it so bright. The color looks so weird to me in my camera. One girl thought I shaved my eyebrows. I don't. I never have. My sister used to do that, but I've never done that. Okay, so let's put... Okay, we're going to curl our eyelashes. And we're just going to use... That light was so blinding, it makes me feel like I can't see anything. I had it right in my face. This is that little cheapy eyelash curler that I have. But I found a way cool one. Um, 
that I'm going to have to show you. Because then you don't have to pinch your eyelashes at all. It's this one. And you push the button to turn it. I've had it plugged in, so let's see if it'll... No. Oh, yeah. Okay, the light came on. So after it heats up, you see this? You can just push your eyelashes up, and you don't have to pinch them. Which might work really good for, for some people, but i got to let it heat up a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm going to pinch this one. And sometimes that does make my eyes cry a little. Okay. Feel this. Oh, it's heating up. And then what I was saying is you just you push it up like this and hold it. And you just hold it up there. It's kind of cool, huh? I got this on Timu. Timu. I think you have to hold it a little bit longer than I'm holding it right now. The only other thing is I don't have any, um, oh, any e.l.f. mascara, but I do have this Wet n' Wild mascara. We'll use that since I'm kind of using Wet n' Wild stuff as well. Okay, so we got our eyebrows on, so to speak. Now, they have this stuff that's called, it's like a, a wax pencil, if you will, and you're supposed to put that on top of your eyebrows to hold the color that you put on. Looks like I missed this trying to go into the edge a little bit over here. And so then it's like a wax eyebrow pencil and it's from e.l.f. as well. Okay, and then um, let me see the eyeshadow stuff again. Oh, if I can get it open. That's the only thing you can, and remember my fingernails? Oh, the update on my fingernails is terrible. I haven't put anything else on them, thank God, but they are so, so sore, and they've actually, even the skin has kind of split, and oh, they've been terrible with me using that light. I can't do that anymore. No, no, can't use it anymore. Okay, so I wanted to find a little bitty brush that I could use. Oh, we'll use this one. I wanted to put a little bit more of the white up there. I'll mix those two, yeah? We like to mix them, don't we? Put it up there by the eyebrows to define them a little bit more. Yeah. And also, if you put a little bit down in the corner of your eye, that looks good too. Okay, now, uh, as far as the as far as the corner of your eye, hmm, let's use uh, this color brown that's just right next to it. And just do just a little bit extra right there. Not a lot, just a little. Okay? Now, as far as um, there's, this is the eyeliner pencil from e.l.f. It's black. And the lid itself has a pencil sharpener, so you can keep it nice and sharp. So we're gonna see, I don't know. Oh, ow. That is not very smooth, I'm gonna say right up front. Not really super smooth. Uh, I think on this one I'm going to have to hold my eyelid that way because this one is not uh, real smooth and when you get to be 70 it kind of um, <laughs> it kind of wrinkles when you run it across if you're not careful. Oh there that's better yeah that's not bad. I feel like I need to fix this side over here just a tad bit too. I feel like I'm gonna have to powder it. I don't have any just powder powder. 
I do have this that's, I think this is Wet n Wild, and it's an illuminating palette. I mean, I've had this forever. So in this lighter stuff, I think I'm going to take a, uh, just a light little brush here, and I'm going to put some of this light powder up under here to try to keep it from going black under my eyes. I should put it on the top too a little bit. Yeah, a lot of fallout. That's okay. All right, now I'm going to use this Wet n Wild blush. And uh, the name of this one is Pearlescent Pink. Pearlescent Pink. All right, so we're going to use this brush. And we're going to put some Pearlescent Pink on there. Mm-hmm. All righty, now. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. lip liner. It doesn't have a color number because I don't have the package that it was in, but it's, it's a color I like, kind of a mauve and chocolate, or um, I don't know, cocoa, coffee. So we're going to... Do the lip liner. Not as much pigment, but that's okay. They used to have a lot of e.l.f. products at the, at the uh, Dollar Tree. Okay, so now we need a highlighter right here, and we're going to put a highlighter right there and right there to kind of highlight the, oh, it actually has like a little, almost a glittery look, huh? We'll put some down here too on my nose, up above in there where I had it before. And this is the um, illuminating palette. So, yeah. You, and this would be like even a blush to go in there. Let's see what that does. Put a little bit on my hand. Oh, yeah. That's nice. The Wet n Wild, is it black? I think it's black mascara. Let me see what color. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, very black, in fact. And it is soy protein, full healthy lashes, clean definition. Uh, it does not say waterproof. So we're going to use it. I'll let you know if this all gets yuck on my face. It's it black all over my face. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, hm. not too bad, so let's give it a whirl. Okay, what do we think? Well, um, yeah, we're just going to keep putting it on for just a little bit. See what we can get. Now, as far as the lips, I just use the lip liner only. Okay, mascara, come on. Come on.
with the light coming down like that, it really shows up the bags under my eyes, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, finding the right tones of all the colors is pretty important, you know. What about my contour, huh? Think it's contoured enough? I don't know. We're going to use a little bit of this lighter one here. This one right here next to the, ooh. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so let's take the headband off. I'll have to go fix my hair a little bit. But Oh, and I was going to show you how to fix a uh, place on your gray hair that's going to show. Uh, you want to get your eyeshadow that's the closest color to your hair, which is probably this one for me. And you want to just go in there and fix that. See? Look at that. What did I say it was this one? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. And look here, I'll show you way up here like that. And, uh, I need a little darker one to go with it. That didn't look quite right. Yeah, when I was a little girl, I had a bike wreck. Made a big hole in my head right there. So that's showing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can do that. You can actually even do it in, uh, even if you want to, it's time to color my hair again. And I'm gonna do that in a couple days, maybe tomorrow. So when you part your hair and you see the gray, you can do the same thing. If you have a part that shows and you don't want it to show, there you go. You can do like this. So that you don't have like a skunk thing down there, you know, which on mine's not gonna show, but that's what you can do. Instead of having a big old wad of, oh, God, you need to get your hair done. But I am going to do it in a day or so. Okay, so let me fix my hair and put my sweater on. Got my tank top on today. I have wear it under my sweater, my black sweater. So, okay, well, maybe I would have liked a little bit more mascara, probably. And maybe even just a little tiny bit more um, of a darker one. Let's see, right here. See, like that. Widen your eyes out just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then, if the light wasn't just shining up above my head and was more straight on, it wouldn't be as much of um, bags under my eyes, which I could use a little bit more of this highlighter under there, like this pink one maybe, like that maybe, yeah. All right, okay, I'll be back with my hair done. Okay, so I have on my mostly e.l.f. makeup today and wet and wild so there you have it fairly inexpensive actually and you know it's it's pretty okay uh, with uh, with the exception of the foundation being the maybelline and i'm going to do a whole video of just dollar tree makeup maybe tomorrow <laughs> okay and then i'm going to color my hair for you so you can watch me do that too okay all right bye bye don't forget to subscribe ring the bell and make a comment. What do you think about this elf makeup? Hmm? Tell me your thoughts.